What's up, everybody? This is that nigga you don't know, but I hope you get to know the inspector. And for today's reaction video, we're going to be reacting to, yeah, you seen the thumbnail, another Ryan George video. But this is one of his pitch meeting videos. I, I have to look to see if I've reacted to these pitch meetings. I tried a couple times, but you know, I know one or two videos, the sound was all fucked up, so I didn't like come out with it. No, I think I did. No, 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 no. I think I did his Multiverse of Madness pitch meeting. So now I'm going to react to the Boba Fett TV show pitch meeting. Now, my personal opinion on the show, I thought it was okay. Honestly, I think the show could have been a little better if they would have just let Boba Fett kind of, you know, carry his own fucking show. I don't think we needed the appearance of the man. Well, we needed the appearance of the, the appearance of the Mandalorian, but we did not need two entire episodes dedicated to this nigga. We didn't need that. <laughs> okay, the Mandalorian has his own show. Like, honestly, if they feel they needed that, then that's just bad writing on Disney's part. But we'll see how the pitch meeting went from Ryan George's perspective. So without further ado, let's just get into it. <laughs> so you have a new Star Wars show for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's going to be about this badass space bounty hunter in Mandalorian armor dealing with bad guys. That's... Okay, we already have that show. Yeah, no, that's true. But this one would be about Boba Fett. Oh, people love that character and that thing he did in the original trilogy where he was, you know, briefly in it. Oh, yeah. So it was like an origin yeah, yeah. story or something because he fell into a Sarlacc pit and died. Oh, well, no, actually, see, he didn't die. At the beginning of this, we find out he survived. Wow, how'd he get out of the Sarlacc pit? <laughs> By getting out of it. That makes sense, actually. That was a good strategy on his part. Yeah, so it seems right? like his armor helped him survive, but then some Jawas steal it from him and leave him for dead. Freaking Jawas. And then he gets picked up by some Tusken Raiders. Freaking Tusken Raiders. No, he actually ends up becoming friends with them. Oh, he does. Yeah, so see, the show's actually gonna follow Boba Fett and his new- I may be alone in this, but I actually liked that. I actually liked when he became friends with the Sand People, you know, learning their language, learning how to fight from them. I thought the show was in a pr going in a pretty decent direction. Yeah, it felt a little boring, but I kind of just been watching the entire series at once. I didn't wait week to week. <laughs> New role as a crime boss on Tatooine, right? Right. But whenever he takes a dip in a Bacta tank, we're going to see flashback dreams and nightmares and stuff of him bonding with the Tuscans. Oh, uh, watching an older man have nightmares while bathing is tight. Okay. <laughs> and so what kind of important stuff are we learning from these flashbacks? A little baby lizard latched onto his brain stem, and so he walked around and got a cool branch and made it into a pointy stick with his new friends. Oh. All right. Okay. So now he's got a pointy stick and he's learned the value of friendship or something. Anyway, all his friends die. Oh my god. We're also going to wow. flash back to when he saved Fennec Shan's life and asked for her help. Help to do what? To go back inside the Sarlacc pit to get his armor. He wants his armor back. Didn't you say he crawled out of the Sarlacc pit with his armor in the first episode? Oh uh, yeah. Whoops. Whoopsie. So Damn, I didn't even notice that. Why would he go back to the Sarlacc pit? I when I first saw that scene, I just assumed that he wanted to, you know, kill the Sarlacc. But then again, you could interpret that as he was kind of out of it. And this that planet does have two suns. He might have, you know, kind of forgot because by his perspective, he crawled out of the pit and passed out. And when he woke up, he didn't have his armor. So you think that maybe he'll roll back into the Sarlacc pit. But then again, it's Tatooine, and he's old enough to know that he probably got jacked. <laughs> but anyway, they become friends and go to become crime bosses on Tatooine. <laughs> what kind of crimes are they going to do? Not a single one. Oh, okay. Yeah, they mostly walk around town trying to get people to respect them, but nobody does because there's like four of them. Yeah, that's a pretty tiny crime boss team. But at a certain point, they're going to hire this young gang of cool-looking cyborgs. And what's their deal? Well, they look like they're from Back to the Future, too, and they have these very colorful <laughs> Vespa scooter things. It doesn't feel like it fits with the vibe or look of Tatooine at all. Yeah, but counterpoint, colors are fun to look at. I like to look at them. I was thinking more of Cyberpunk 2027, but okay. 
Or no, no, fucking um, what's that movie? Fucking Total Recall, the Arnold Schwarzenegger version. That that's kind of who they remind me of, or at least they look like they would fit perfectly in that universe. That is a good point. I like purple. So they're gonna have this big old chase scene with the mayor's assistant. It's gonna be super slow paced. Very exciting. Wait, did you say slow paced? <laughs> they find out the mayor's working with these bad guys called the Pikes. Uh oh. Yeah, so there's a war coming to town. Oh boy. Anyway, so then Mando's gonna be trying to use that dark saber he has, but he's not super good at it. <laughs> Wait, Mando? Wait, you know, Din Jaren played by Pedro Pascal. So anyway, he's gonna be. Oh, hold on, that's, that's a different show. That's the Mandalorian. Right? Yeah, well, see, I was gonna I'm kind of bored, and I really like The Mandalorian, so I figure we do a couple episodes of that show. Where's I just said that. Boba Fett gonna be. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. He'll be off screen doing something or other. What's the show called again? The Book of Boba Fett. But he's not in several of the episodes. Yeah, no, he's not. Baby Yoda <laughs> will be, though. Oh, my little green money baby. And freaking Luke Skywalker, too, who sometimes looks like a real person. <laughs> nice. Anyway, so we're nice. gonna spend a solid 20 <laughs> minutes on Mando putting together a new ship. Why? Because he needs a new ship. All right. And then Luke's gonna give Baby Yoda a choice. You know, either continue your Jedi training with me or go back with the Mandalorian. What does he choose? Well, he chooses to go back with Mando because he like. Honestly, that was a very, very, very dick move from Luke Skywalker. I don't know why. Someone ex please explain to me in the comics why <laughs> Grogu couldn't have both the impenetrable vest and a lightsaber. Why couldn't he have the present from Mandalorian and have the lightsaber at the same time. That it just it just seemed a little extra loop shit. No wonder your apprentice just fucking turns on you in like forty like twenty years. <laughs> likes him a lot. So the whole main storyline of the first two seasons of The Mandalorian trying to get this baby Yoda to a Jedi, that's just kind of undone in two episodes of a different show. Yes. Well, okay then. So then finally Mando joins uh -huh. Boba Fett and it's time for war against- <laughs> And I hate it. I fucking hate it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm pausing so much, but goddamn, that shit really pissed me off, bruh. Do, does the Mandalorian need Grogu? Can somebody please explain that shit to me? Because I don't think, I really don't think that the Mandalorian needs Grogu. He's cool enough by himself, okay? But then again, you have to ask, how are women going to watch this fucking show? And I ain't just talking about y'all Star Wars nerds. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about the wives of the Star Wars nerds. That's who they're targeting. Because you're already giving them their money. But they need a reason <laughs> to agree to get Disney+. Plus. Like they don't have like a bunch of Disney movies on there out there already. <sighs> Disney, you really pissed me off being so greedy. <laughs> it's the Pikes. Oh boy. So Boba Fett is like, well, I guess we could go set up in this bunker type thing that I have. But then one of the cyborg kids is like, no, we're going to stand up and fight right here in the busy part of town where all the people are. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So Boba Fett's like, yeah, okay, that sounds good. It doesn't though. Yeah, well, that's going to be kind of a recurring thing in this show. Boba Fett's going to order people to do stuff and they're going to be like, no. And he's going to be like, okay, really? Yeah, so then there's this really? big old war on the streets of Tatooine. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow. And one of the cyborg kids gonna do a little spin move before shooting. It's gonna look very <laughs> cool, possibly. Why would he do that? Because maybe it'll look cool. It might. I don't know. What tactical advantage does doing a little spin give him? Well, now he'll be, uh... I don't know, dizzy, I guess, before aiming. Listen, sir, he's gonna do a spin move, all right? I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about it. <laughs> okay, let me get off of that little, little, little thing of yours. And then there are gonna be these big droids with massive shields, and they start firing all over the place. Uh-oh. And everybody's shooting at these shields, but they're impenetrable. So why bother shooting? Unclear. And so Boba Fett is like, these droids are gonna destroy the city if we don't stop them. Yeah, man. Well, it sounds like that's gonna be hard to do. Actually, Actually. it's gonna be super easy. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you see, he goes to get this big old rancor that he knows and learned how to ride off screen, and this thing starts destroying the city. I guess that's helpful. And with the help of the awesome rancor, insane. they get those freaking <laughs> shields down. Ah, so now everybody can fire on the droids. Yeah, but no, they're gonna stop shooting the droids at this point now that the shields are down. What? Why? Unclear. And so then Boba Fett's gonna have a big showdown with Cad Bane. Wait, who's Cad Bane? Oh, he's like the big bad guy of the show. We're gonna introduce him in like the before the last episode. I feel like if you want this showdown to have any 
any weight, you should maybe introduce him earlier and spend some time building up this rivalry of theirs. Well, fans of the Clone Wars know this is a pretty big deal. What about other people? No. Maybe we should- Well, there's just- there's not really time for it, sir. But we're gonna spend two episodes with the Mandalorian. Yeah, and 20 minutes of one of those episodes is him building a ship that he wants. <laughs> okay, but maybe we cut down a little on that stuff and spend more time building up the protagonist and the antagonist. No. Fucking okay. right! And so Boba Fett wins, and now he's a good guy with a heart of gold. That's- Alright, that's not really Boba Fett's deal. Just an old softy who has dreams in his bathtub and goes around town suggesting things and then just doing whatever the other person wants to do. Alright. So what do you think? Well, listen, I think it sounds like some content, for sure. It is, yeah. And I mean, if we have the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda in the finale, I don't see how people could not like it. Whoa, what does that say? The worst Rotten Oh, sometimes Rotten Tomatoes don't know shit. I thought episode seven was pretty decent. It wasn't as good as it could have been, but I felt that it was okay. I mean, come on. <laughs> Whew. Well, that was that reaction slash my opinion. I guess a little bit of a review on my point. On my part with the Mandalorian, because I'm too lazy to make my own review. Uh, I'm sorry, not the Mandalorian. Fuck, fuck. I mean, shit. You stole the fucking show. It might as well be Mandalorian 2.5. <laughs> my own reaction to the Book of Boba Fett, I guess. But if you like these reactions, this is on the long side. But I'm sorry, Disney just really just makes it makes me mad sometimes. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will be doing more reactions in the future. And as for the comment for this video, comment on what you thought about the Book of Boba Fett. I will be surprised if I find one comment on this. I wouldn't be surprised if I found one comment on this video and it's the one motherfucker that actually defends the Book of Boba Fett, which I didn't think sucked. What I thought is that there was some unnecessary shit, but I already covered that. So, if you made it this far, guess what? You are awesome, and don't let anyone tell you different. And that is the way. Remember, Mandalorian 2.5.